Hey, what's going on, fam? It's the Don here, coming to you from Biloxi, Mississippi. We're at Kessler Air Force Base at their RV park. Now, for those of y'all who know, we uh, for those of y'all who don't know, we are heading from uh, Tucson, Arizona, going all the way to Savannah, Georgia, so we can establish a base for our RV travels in the future. We did a whole big thing about it, and we just uh, thankful that we've been safe so far. And we ask you to continue prayers while we try to get there. Now, so we're here at Kessler. Uh, we're doing a two-day stop here. We're doing mostly one-day stops, but we're doing a two-day stop so we can kind of rest, rejuvenate, and recover. And while we're doing this two-day stop, I just wanted to point out that Peggy has promised me waffles. And the Don wants waffles. So I cleared off some of the area here. It's not like Peggy clean, but it's cleaned off some. I got the crusties waffle mix out. <laughs> now you're probably saying, well Don, the instructions right there on the back of the box. Why don't you go ahead and make your own dang waffles? Let me repeat, Peggy promised me waffles. So since Peggy does all the cooking better than I do, I want Peggy to make me some waffles. So she's gonna be joining me in a minute <laughs> and then we're gonna get started on this, fam. Good morning, family. Donald don't want me to be great this morning. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep in. I'm like, you know, when you sit in a car for too long on a road trip and you get tired of sitting. So I'm like, Donald, I'm gonna sleep in today. He told me yesterday, you can sleep in, no worries, nothing. So it get to be about 9.30. I guess he said, you slept in long enough. All I hear is waffles. You promised waffles. me waffles. Waffles. You promised me waffles. waffles. You promised me waffles. waffles. I'm you just like, me. I'm like, dude, you sound like a broken record. Come on, play. Give you me a me break. Waffles. I'm just like, so anyway, I'm like, I really wanted to do it good because you know when you promise your husband so put them arms down. Sound, look mean. You look mean. <laughs> Anyway, you know when you promise your husband something, you say, if you do this for me, I'll do X, Y, and Z, right? So when I promise him something, I like to put all the bells and whistles on it. Like, I know I promised him waffles, and it's been over a week now. But I was like, we'll go to the store, I'll get some strawberries, some powdered sugar, you know, make them look real nice and pretty and stuff like that. No, he don't want that. See, presentation is everything because I try to do that because when I do that, then he won't mind doing other things for me. But it's my fault because, you know, I didn't pay up when I was supposed to. So now <laughs> it's time to pay the dollar, okay? <laughs> so I'm, I can't even make them from scratch because I, you know, like I am a, a per, like when I cook from the heart, it's better. If I'm cooking when I'm rushed, it ain't gonna taste so good. It, it just what it is. So. I'm not going to even make homemade batter this morning, so Donald is going to get some, what we got here, player? What are those, Bell and Krusty's? I think this was brand. from Walmart, yeah. and I know we paid less than $2 for the box, mm -hmm. so I'm going to come in here and make my husband some breakfast, so we thought we were behind on Vlogtober, like, tremendously, mm -hmm. so we're trying to just come to y'all, hopefully we can finish out the month. That's what our goal is, to finish out the month. So, another thing too, since we're getting ready to put the RV into the shop, we thought it would be a great idea if we ended where I love, Mayport. So we're trying to get in touch with Mayport right now, but they're not answering the phone or anything like that. So we may not be able to get Mayport, but if we do, you'll know, you'll be the first to know. So, um, I guess I better cook my husband some breakfast. What do I have to do? Get out of my way, player. Okay. Get out of my way, player. <laughs> you know what? I am good at that. Yes, you are. You can talk to the fam while I pull out all these little devices we have. <laughs> It's been it's been a long couple days, fam. Like uh, like I see on on Peggy's video uh, yesterday, we went from uh, Davis Monthan to El Paso, Texas, where at Fort Bliss Army Park. Then we went to Dias Air Force Base in Abilene, Texas. It 
then we went to Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, at the uh, Air Force Base, at the Barksdale Air Force Base. I never even heard of it, but they had an RV park, and it was pretty nice. I'm gonna be leaving a review on that one after this video comes out. I shot it, just didn't upload it. You know, we just been busy, been moving around and everything. But uh, so right now we're here down here in um, Luxie at Kessler RV Park. It's a no frills RV park. They don't have any like, Wi-Fi or cable or anything, but hey, it's a good spot to rest for a couple of days for us to recuperate. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. It's right here on I-10. We're trying to sell, like they said, we're trying to see if we can get made for. That would be nice. I might maybe get a day or two of fishing in because we're not really doing uh, Savannah until, what, Monday? And, it's, and today, this video should be posted out, what, Wednesday? So we got about four or five days to try to kill. We're doing pretty good on the travel thing. Let's slow it down a little bit. Hey, you got the bacon going on back there. I'm not, I'm not big on bacon, but the smell of bacon is bad. Fan freaking tasty. Now she's doing her turkey bacon. I want no parts of it. <laughs> I want no parts of the turkey bacon. And uh, I think we have some of that bacon in this morning. Oh, I fried it extra crispy now. I'll take it. Peggy do everything. Peggy do all her meats well, 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 well done. I just like crispy bacon. I just think it's good. I'm fine with that. As long as it ain't steak like that. So what we got here? We got like a little um is this this is new, right? Yeah, I well I bought it months ago because I've been planning to make a waffle breakfast for us. But I was gonna do it up on a bigger scale, but since the man is starving we had one before, but it wasn't like this. This looks very similar to it. Yeah, we, we left all of our stuff in the house, so. Okay. Yep. So we're getting turntable waffles. First time I saw one of these, was, I was at a, we was at a hotel one time. Oh, was, I remember that. And, and we had to make our own waffles <laughs> at the breakfast bar. They got a little pump where you pump the uh, waffle batter into a cup and you pour the batter on there. My waffle came out so good. People was asking me, can you make me one? Hey, 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 back up, back up. I'm like, back up. I don't work here. But it was fun. It came out really good. So that's probably why you bought the last waffle liner. Because there's only like, what, seven things I can cook. Name them. Seven things I can cook. By Donald Winder. Well, my... Best is what the grilled cheese. I did a video on my grilled cheese, but you know anybody can make grilled cheese. I'll say another one is my mashed potatoes and brats meal. That's a whole meal, and I kill with that one. Then there's the infamous sweet potato pie that Peggy has not tasted yet. <laughs> I I don't think he can make. Oh, I just burned my arm. Don't burn your arm, baby. Go over there and talk to the family. Scoot over. It's small in here. Oh, that's that's the thing. <laughs> What else? That's only three things so far. What'd you say? I said uh, <laughs> grilled cheese, mashed potatoes and brats, and my sweet potato pie. Um, I feel oh, like you can cook egg salad. Else. I got a good egg salad. Now I've never tried his egg no, salad. She, yeah, yeah, she's not. Yeah, she hasn't tried the egg salad, but I'm in a good egg salad. I guess cereal and peanut butter jelly sandwiches don't count. Uh, <laughs> no, they don't, player. I make good Eggo waffles. Also, don't count. Man, I'm not a good cook. I'm sitting here racking my brain, <laughs> trying to think of some things that I can make. <laughs> uh, you don't have to be pretty. Just sit. I mean, you don't have to cook. Just sit up and be pretty. Ain't that what y'all think? There you go. Minute? There you go. Hey, I'm not a good cook. I'm gonna think of something else. I know there's a couple more. A couple more things I can make. That I've made that people liked. Who was people? You know, people, the kids, the grandkids. Hmm. I don't remember you cooking for them. Oh. I can make an omelet. I cannot make French toast. Ooh. The French toast debacle. 
not the debacle. Peggy won't let me make French toast for her no more. <laughs> if I told her I was making French toast, she'd be like, that's all right, baby. <laughs> Sit yourself down. I, I'll get my own breakfast. You did good. You just didn't, uh, you know, you didn't smash it down or nothing to make sure that inside was cooked. So... I'm gonna make it before this year is out. I'm gonna learn to make something more difficult, like I don't know, some chicken wings or um, a lasagna or something. I can make ramen. That don't count either. Does it? it? It counts for something. I make a very good ramen. You and really I, do. If you make it look good too. And a good cup of coffee. There you go. That's yeah, it. Yeah, now baby, let me take some of the coffee. <laughs> You get, you got that. There you go. Make a good cup of coffee. <laughs> That's sad. We're supposed to get out and see the town today. Yeah. So after we have this fantastic breakfast that Peggy is preparing for us, we can probably hop in Black Pearl and go see what's in this town. We, we're only like, supposed to like five miles away from the Gulf Coast. So we head out and head south again and we should run right into it after a few minutes. Plus we need some batteries and some headphones and stuff like that, I think. So maybe we'll go ahead and take care of that stuff while we out. Yeah. And hopefully we can get a hold of Mayport at some point. This space, I know Peggy has told y'all before this space is small. I didn't even realize how small it was until the other day we was trying to figure out how the ceiling was. We was trying to do some design work or whatever else. I said, well, the ceiling is probably like seven foot, seven foot six. No, I'm six, I'm not even six feet tall, fam. And now I'm touching the ceiling. <laughs> so I'm guesstimating this ceiling being about six foot six, six foot eight at most. No, I'm going with six foot six. Six foot six ceiling, so. I said you, you can't y'all do any any uh, jumping jacks in the military. We call them side straddle hops. Why can't you just call them jumping jacks? But yeah, not a lot of space in here. Something we're looking forward to stretching a little bit once we get to our home base. Still nice in here though. With all with all the problems we've had, it's still a nice little RV. Yeah, we didn't say we didn't like her. She just. She needs a little TLC. Exactly. Exactly. It's a, it's a maintenance thing. I'm going to put her in the hospital and get her all fixed up. Yeah. I love this stuff. I got it from Walmart. When I'm making like pancakes and stuff like that, I use this uh, butter flavor. It smells like fart a little bit. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's, it's good. Like I said, haven't been to the grocery store in the and he wants cheese eggs. It's the next best thing. I just do it just like this. There you go. You like when it's you and I. We can have the world. See us coming like left, right, left, right, all. Oh. Are you the same? All right, fam. So I melted some butter. I'm just going to pour it over his little <laughs> waffle. And I'm, I hate to add syrup for you, but Donald was heavy handed when it comes to syrup. So I'm yeah, gonna I've, I've been known to do that. I'm going to divvy it out. There you go. And. Couple sausages, okay, okay. 
This is so much more than I expected, fam. Look at that. I was asking for waffles and look what I get. Telling you right now, when Peggy and I first met, I told her how much I love Waffle House, and I took her there. She was not impressed. I still love some Waffle House, but this looks and smells better than Waffle House. I don't even know what to start off with. Start off with the waffle. Get some more syrup because she's a little stingy with the syrup. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. Delicious. I just hate that it couldn't be better. I wanted to present it to y'all better, but this is real life. Mm -hmm. This is life in these RV streets. This is how we have to do it sometimes. My mom always told me, clean as you go, clean as you go. It's hard to do that here. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have my dishwasher to rinse and put, you know. So after we eat, I always have to wash dishes. I am not going to miss that for a little while. But hopefully while she's in the shop, we can get a few adjustments made to her, you know. Maybe we can find a dishwasher to put in her and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. And he look, look at Mr. McGreedy here. <laughs> I don't want to give him a name. I don't want to give him a name because then it'll stick. It'll stick. <laughs> so I, I don't want to call him that. But I, I appreciate, like you appreciate cooking. Well, you love cooking for somebody who appreciates your, the way that you cook and everything. And so he can't wait to get back into sticks and grits for the food. Oh, Somebody emailed us yesterday and she was like, I tried that rum, that rum cake and it was bomb.com. Or what did she say? It was bomb. It was bomb. It was bomb. And so now he wants a rum cake. And I'm like, it's almost Thanksgiving. Like we can hold out. But I think as a housewarming gift to this young lad, I'm going to go ahead and make him a rum cake like the first week that we're there. Maybe we'll get it out of his system and he won't want it for Thanksgiving. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, fam, we just wanted to drop in, drop a quick video, let you know that we are behind on these videos. But y'all going to get 30 videos one way or another. <laughs> so it might bleed into next month where we put out more videos than we normally do. But we do have to play catch up. So... My husband is satisfied today. I am so glad. I almost started making the waffles myself and let her sleep. I almost did it. He almost let me be great. Ain't that something? So, almost. So glad I did it. You were great. <laughs> All right, so yeah, he, he got up this morning and he made him some coffee. He was like, this is going to kill my appetite for a couple of hours. And it did. I'm surprised because mm -hmm. we get up early. Like, we normally are up like 6, 6.30 in the morning. He got up at 5.30 this morning. I was shocked. And he was like, baby, don't worry about it. I'm going to let you sleep. So I guess he did let me sleep in. So let me not come down so hard on Mr. Don Juan. Boy, I'm just happy so right now. So he's just appreciative of the breakfast. I would talk more, but yeah, we'll talk about <laughs> food. I don't want my food to be cold either. But we're going to do some, like when we get back in Savannah, we're going to do a lot of cooking with you guys because I think he enjoys it and that way you can see the both of us. So at least once a week we'll put up a cooking video of what we're doing and stuff like that. I think that would be kind of fun. So besides all of my decor, oh, ladies, 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 <laughs> let me tell you. I'm going to sit down while Peggy talk to y'all. No, I just want to give y'all a quick look. <laughs> if you're looking for a bed right now, Wayfair has those upholstered beds. What do you call that stuff? Uh, tufted? Uh, yeah, tufted upholstered upholster bed. Upholstered bed. I'm trying to say that fast three times. So Wayfair, and I have ordered from them before, but you make sure that you do your due diligence by uh, looking at the rating and make sure you read the reviews because they will help a lot. Ladies, they have king-size tufted beds, a 
upholstered tufted beds for as low as $162. So a lot of them are 50 to 75% off. So go to Wayfair.com. So next week, I'm going to show you the bed that I got from Wayfair. Uh, I was trying to get the cheaper one, but <laughs> uh, let's read the specifications on it too because some of those beds, like some of the king beds, which was shocking to me, only holds up to 350 pounds. You can't get two people, two average size people couldn't lay in one of their king size beds. So make sure you read everything. That's the key. Make sure you do your due diligence and look on them. But I just wanted to share that little tad bit of information. If you're looking for a bed, Wayfair is the place to go. So my bed is supposed to get to our new place by Wednesday next week. So hopefully by Thursday, Friday next week, I'll be able to show you guys. <laughs> he's got nothing. I, he stood up because I thought he was getting ready to say so. Oh, no. And he's still chewing. So this should last him at least to about 2 o'clock to late lunch. Oh, yeah, good. So whatever. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining us today. We had a blast. And we will see you in the next one. So until the next time. Until the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>